Hi everyone and welcome back to It's Personal. I am Mona and today we are going to do some wash painting. What you just witnessed on screen was me doing what I'm calling or dubbing or I'm creating a new word today. Flippity flip through moment. It sounds weird, I know, but it's okay because it's a word I now created. It is ours on this channel, a flippity flip through moment um, I wanted to share with you guys um, the art I've been doing in this craft journal um, that is basically the journals with the brown paper you see on screen right now and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of the art I've been doing over the last year year and a half it's not a lot of pages but these are basically the projects I tend to do in this book on my really I'm like on off time when I'm just chilling and I just want to relax and I don't want to do too much thinking or I had like a brainwave idea that I just want to try um, and then I use this book for it because wash for some reason really works well on this craft brown craft paper and I was like hmm, maybe I need to share this information with the greater world maybe this will be an affordable um, solution for some wash painting artists that want to try something different and on a more affordable paper and not be um, afraid of messing up because that is what I enjoy in in this with this project um, with this book for example a lot of those paintings most of those paintings um, you guys saw in the start at the start I just I sat down I had an idea or I had like I want to try and paint um, a sunrise from the beaches angle or like that Al for example was I had a conversation with a friend about an online game and he told me about that snow snow owl that was in the game and I was like oh that sounds cool yeah so I found a reference photo and I made it a bit my own yeah and if anyone knows in the comments where that owl comes from it will be interesting to know if you guys know <laughs> but yeah it's like for that for example that uh, project uh, took a little bit longer on planning side not planning but just like the general idea of what I want to do I thought about it a bit longer but with this project tonight um, on this picture not tonight but whenever you guys are watching it um, I didn't think about it a lot I was like okay I'm gonna paint a hill and I want to put some rose oh not rose flower like spread out bush thingies all over and I just want to make it look nice and I played around with the colors this in total took me about let's say about three hours over the spread of two evenings um, and yeah this was just fun I relaxed while I was doing this I think I watched maybe like some series or some YouTube because that's the thing with me I tend to multitask I can't just be doing one thing so I'll be watching a YouTube video in the background or listening to a YouTube video in the background Kind of into Minecraft at the moment, which might be a little bit on the dangerous side because I'm starting to enjoy watching the content in on it, and I'm thinking about purchasing the game. So I don't know. We will see. Maybe there's another channel in the works in the near future if I if I get skilled enough in that. <laughs> It would be fun, wouldn't it? But yeah, like I've said in the past, um, I'm someone that likes to dabble in different things and. Just like an art, I also like gaming. Just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Um, but yeah, different hobbies, different things that make us happy and fill our cups up. So, like I was trying to say before, the, the mediums for this project was an art craft journal or craft brown crafting paper. I know you can buy them in this format, like in a spiral bound book format. But I know you can also buy loose um, sheets of it, loose sheets. Or they come like in a, a bound, not bound, a pad, uh, like a, a crafting book pad, like A4 sizes. Um, I've only seen A4 sizes, I have not seen them smaller. Um, but yeah, these are actually pretty nice because you get to do your project in them, let them dry, close them up, and you come back for the next one. Funny enough, this paper has, does actually pretty well with water. Um, it doesn't wobble too much. Um, I was initially scared it was going to wobble a lot, but it doesn't, which is actually really nice, especially when you're working with mediums that involve more watercolors. Um, so yeah, craft paint, uh, a craft journal, and some wash paint, and there you go. That was it. And I used a little bit of washi tape to uh, border off the edges because I like that clean look. 
when I'm doing a project. Most of the things I, this, if I remember correctly, are ordered off in this book, and I'll probably keep doing that until the end. I'll be very honest, I did purchase a second book the other day because I was really enthusiastic. Uh, but yeah, I know I'm going to use it, it's not going to go to waste. Now I've got an extra spare one and I can wash till my heart's content on it. <laughs> but I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds here just to watch me paint. Um, I do apologize for any glaring of the paint on the paper. I'm still working on my lighting issues in life. But you know what? Hopefully by end of next month I will have a little bit of a better lighting lighting situation and I don't have to turn the pages at this awkward angle I have right now <laughs> but you guys are gonna see this angle for a couple of videos probably still so you know what live and let learn and live and let life we just deal with it. that's all I can say if we can't fix it we compromise a little bit um, yeah so guys enjoy a couple of minutes I'm gonna grab a little bit of coffee and then I'll be back right now Doodles. And you guys can see now there's quite a bit happening on this page. The, bush, the flower bushes have gotten a little bit of like leaves on them now. We've got a couple of purple flowers on the page. There's a couple of bigger leaves coming out the bottom. I think this picture is coming along pretty nicely at the moment. So I chose to use purple and blue flowers for this picture. I have to admit at this stage I was like thinking to myself, why 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 does it look so boring why does it look so ugh but you know what like some of my favorite youtubers would say just trust the process trust the process it is going to be fine and sometimes you just need to push through 
and that's why I use this book um, as my example of just testing things out, practicing skills, because it's not always going to be perfect. Sometimes you need to go through the ugly phases to get to the pretty phase, and I think at the end this project turns out pretty nicely uh, for me practicing it. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, I was thinking about what I wanted to say, you guys, in this video. I was thinking, how about the topic of creating for the love of creating? And I've heard a lot of um, um, art YouTube, YouTubers talk about this and how they just, how they went through a phase of ignoring, just in enjoying the art of creating for the love of it because of content creation and all those things and trying to find balances between um, art creations and art creation and um, what they need to do for a living. And I realized for me, I, what, the thing I love about creating is just, it brings peace to my spirit and it brings peace after a long day. Um, and that's why I can sit down for three hours at a time um, or an hour and a half at a time and just enjoy the process, switch off my brain um, and stuff. Because, I, for example, over the last two days at work, it's been really, really, it's been mind uh, intensive and a lot of thinking and um, organizing and um, just keeping track of everything. And after a day like that, I just enjoy coming home and just creating something as pretty as this. Even uh, over the weekend, I was sitting on Sunday recording a video that will be coming out in the future. And I was like, this is fun. I had so much fun creating that project. And it was such a stressful week last week as well. But because I enjoy the process of creating, and I told myself, Mona, you're gonna sit down, you're gonna do this project, you're not gonna overthink it. Um, you're just gonna go with the flow and see what happens. And at the end, I was actually so happy with that watercolor and um, color pencil project that I was like, I hope everyone else enjoys this too. But even if, if it, even if it's only for me, the process of creating that piece of art brought so much joy um, after a very long week, it like calmed everything down in my heart and in my spirit and my mind. And all those things it just brought back a good amount of peace. And I think that is it. That is it. Art can be therapeutic, and that is something we don't always think about. I spoke to um, a couple of friends um, weekend past about that, this as well. People don't realize that, or they tend to forget that our hobbies and the things that bring us joy can be therapeutic to us in so many different ways it's not going to be the same for everyone but i think it is important for all of us to find that one thing one thing many things um, that bring us back to filling up our cups so we can go on with our adulting lives and you know we can deal with the stress in our families or at work stuff like that if you can find that thing that brings you peace or brings you back to you know just calmness in your life then you should be spending more time doing it. i enjoy art i've got friends that enjoy gaming um, for example um, people that enjoy writing um, i've got friends that do um, drawing for fun and relaxation and stuff like that so whatever that thing is even friends that bake baking brings them joy it's like find that thing that brings you joy so i want you guys to do me a favor for everyone that's watching the video drop in the comments below what is that hobby that chill time activity that just brings you back to that place of peace that place of where you feel oh, okay now i can deal with the next couple of days or now i can deal with tomorrow at work again drop in the comments what is that for you i would really like to see from um the small little community we have right now and maybe one day a bigger hopefully one day we'll have a bigger community and then i'll ask this question again what is that thing that brings you joy what is that thing that fills up your cup drop it in the comments below um, i would really really like to see that thing for all of you guys and yeah so i'll share a little bit of one of the things i did this weekend it sounds like i had a busy weekend i promise you guys it was not that eventful i'm just telling you guys about the good parts um we'll skip out the parts where the dishes needed to be done and the washing needed to be done and there was some fridge cleaning out and some um, washing out of a cupboard and stuff like that we'll skip that part you know that wasn't the fun part that was the have to do part of life you know the adulting thing 
but I went to a craft shop on Saturday not a craft shop you can call it a craft shop because beading is a craft um, and um, I decided to go on Saturday morning because it's my off weekend from work and um, my best friend got me a, a voucher for my birthday it was a hundred rand voucher and I could spend it on whatever I wanted in the shop. If I wanted to make myself something, um, I could spend it on that. So I went on Saturday morning to, the sh um, to this little craft shop or bead shop in our town. If you guys live in the Western Cape, Mossel Bay area, and you want to know where this little bead shop is, drop me a, a little message in the comments and I'll type, um, type to you um, where that little shop is and you guys can go find it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a lovely little shop with a lot of beads and um i walked around up and down in the middle of load shedding i'll admit up and down the aisles i don't know I, it was probably like half an hour before i actually decided on what i wanted to make and what i decided to buy was um, a couple of random well, let's call it random things i bought a couple of beads and little hook thingies and extension thingies and a little bit of like um twine and all those kinds of things because I wanted to make something that was a reminder to me of this channel so I literally bought everything all the beads and stuff I bought was like in the color scheme of the profile picture on the channel <laughs> I know it sounds silly right but I bought like I've got enough stuff to make like four different sets of like keychain things so yeah I'm gonna be doing that in my free time for I don't know when for the next while just to like work out some of that stuff and then I also bought um I don't know what you call them it looks like a little wire with a hook hoop, hoop, hoop and hoop thingy at the other end but I argued maybe I can use those with my polymer clay um and use them as like I don't know let's say for example I want to make something with wings I can use those little wire thingies that is actually meant for beading on small projects for example I need to make a bird with some wings or a dragon with a little bit of wings I can use those little wires for like what do they call it armature basically so yeah something like that or maybe I want to wrap something around around them what can I think of an example as let's say for example I want to craft a paintbrush with polymer clay I can use that little piece of wire Ooh, that's actually a pretty good idea a little mini paint set in polymer clay Ooh, this is so cool you know my brain is working overtime that is going to be my next point but I'm going to finish that but okay so you can wrap the polymer clay around that little wire thingy yeah and then it basically serves as an armature wire for that my only thing is I am not sure what kind of wires work well in the oven does that even make sense <laughs> I don't know is there a temperature your armature wire needs to be able to handle I have no idea people this is one of those things I need to test it and try it and hopefully not break something in the process of it <sighs> the family will not be happy with me if I need to break an oven because me trying to test armature wire with them it's not like it's a microwave where there's like um great what do they call it you know you guys know what i mean this is some things you just don't do with a microwave like putting forks and stuff in them it's not the same with an oven not as far as my knowledge goes anyways we will test that little theory out when we get to it but i think it should be fine but i'll go do some research just to be safe just to be sure and that's the thing is if you're not sure Get on Mr. Google, there is going to be somewhere, somewhere there's going to be people that verify the same thing you're asking on multiple levels or multiple different videos, platforms, sites, sites, whatever. Verify if you are not sure. Don't take my word for it. I'm an amateur on all levels when it comes to new things. Um, you can ask me about gouache painting at the moment and I know exactly what I'm doing right there. <laughs> Paula McClay is something different. But in any case, so yeah, I bought a good couple of crafting items from the store um, with all those beads and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to be playing with that for a little while. And yeah, maybe I will do a video of some more beadwork stuff in the future. I'm not a big beader. 
Um, but I, I used to, when I was younger, me and my sister used to make like little necklaces and bracelets and stuff. Very simple. It was more about color combinations of beads than it was about buying expensive um, bead, uh, bead accessories and stuff and putting expensive stuff together. It was more simple, small bead like color combinations. And maybe I'll do a couple of those in the future just to show you guys. Um, what that looks like if you've got kids beading is actually a really good time a time a really good way to pass the time for kids um, it's a good activity to practice hand hand eye coordination and stuff yeah and i think that's what the thing is we enjoyed about it i think we also went through a phase where we tried to sell them the bracelets and the, like the necklaces and stuff hot teenage years you know that it was fun <laughs> so yeah i'll probably get back into that just a teeny tiny little bit in the future i'm not, I'm not rushing back into back to, into that at the moment so yeah um another thing i wanted to tell you guys i got all excited about earlier um creative how do you guys get creative what sparks that creative thing for you for me um sometimes it's not necessarily flipping through instagram or pinterest and stuff but sometimes i enjoy walking through a craft store like and um, we've got a local pna or the bead shop or um the small craft, sh uh, craft shop in town um i like walking through those shops and then i'll take my time if i've got free time and i've got nowhere else to go i'll walk through them just for a while just to see what they have and sometimes when you do that it sparks an idea in your head um, you're like, ooh, I can use, let's say for example, you, you buy those, um, you can buy those brown coasters, the plain ones. Basically, it's close to the same color as this paper. Um, they, it's MDF board or hardboard almost, hardboard, is that the word? Um, basically that. And then you can um, use those to paint on. I've painted on some of those in the past. Um, just for me and fun sakes um, you can paint on those you can watch podge on those there's different uses for it um, you can I've even bought um, a while back I bought this, this quite a long while back um, our craft shop has these little blocks now you can if you flip them around you've got six different sides to each block so I was like okay I can paint a, a, basically a picture on each side a collective picture on each flip side of those little blocks so at the end of the day when you flip the blocks in the right order you can have six different images out of just those little set of six blocks so i still need to finish that but it, it's an idea it's like you walk around you see something that sparks it, something creative in your brain and sometimes that's all you need you need to see something that's really cool or it looks cool it looks interesting and they're like oh maybe i can tweak that and tweak that and make that into my own style um, and find what works for you because for me i i cannot recreate someone else's work i struggle to do stuff like that and i'm you're not supposed to you're supposed to find your own creative style when you are painting or drawing or using color pencils find your own thing that works for you and sometimes you just need a little bit of creative spark to do it Oh, okay, I've talked a lot. <laughs> All right, so we are heading into the last couple of minutes in this video. And I think I want to just talk about maybe some of the dilemmas I've, in hindsight, afterwards, I've realized with this painting and stuff I can work on um, in the future just to improve my skills a little bit. Number one, there is a lot, a lot of green in this image. And to get the amount of variations of green in this image was difficult um, it was kind of frustrating I was very grateful by the time I was finished with all the green stuff what I should have done is and I'll try to remember for the future is I need to put in more browns more earth tones um, just to break up all the green because you know those plants don't stand on just grass they are actually planted in the ground in the grass so if I maybe add a little bit more browns into the plants themselves, into the texture of the grass, maybe it would have broken up that greenness um, a, lo a lot more. And another thing is I'm thinking about is I should have probably focused more on, um, what do we call it, specific highlights 
or like highlighting from a specific angle and then also focus more on what where there were darker shadows at the moment it's like the highlights are all over the place and there's not really a lot of shadow and depth to the image but you know what i think at the at that stage i was thinking let's make something simple let's just paint but if you look back at your art then sometimes you realize oh i could have done that differently could have done that a little bit differently and that's there's nothing wrong with it we, we create and then we learn from the things we create so next time we do it we do it differently and we um, try to do things a little bit better all right i'm gonna take a two second break and then we're gonna be back and then we're gonna finish off this video with the end reveal shots yeah i'll be back right now There you go that is almost almost done with the painting part of this we are going to do some line work next and i have to say this project was actually really nice and it was so so dull to do um, i think in the future i'm going to be a dude i'm going to be doing it's late guys <laughs> it's almost quarter to nine on my side um in the future i'm going to be trying to do a little bit more of these kinds of videos where i just sit down um have like a, a slight idea of what I want to do and just sit down paint and see where the process takes me I really enjoy just doing these kinds of videos as well but they will still be planned out and really what do they what do they even call it um, project focused videos <laughs> let's call it that um, where I intentionally do something really uh, specific um, that is on my mind but these videos were actually are really fun for me um, I enjoy just sitting down for an evening or two evening or two and just painting something that just chills out my brain you know just chills out <laughs> but I like I said I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoyed it with me um, it was so much fun um, you cannot put a price tag on just enjoying the process of doing some art um, that is something I've learned. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. Just keep it simple. Just do some brush on some craft journal paper. Um, do some sketching. Do some drawing. Um, like I said, the video that's coming out after this was actually so much fun. I'm not even sure the amount of time I spent on it because I still need to pull uh, pull all that footage into like the editing program and see how long it actually took me to do it. But I can promise you the amount of time it took it didn't feel like it took me that long but yeah what do you guys think should i have added the line work on this image yes or no i was kind of going to flip on it i didn't i wasn't quite sure but you know i if you jump you i don't jump i dive not into the shallow waters into the deep water sometimes so it's either going to be a, um, a highlighter pen or a not highlighter pen it's going to be a, a liner pen or that um, jelly roll pen is going to come in we're always going to go the extra mile but that's it you guys here's the final image i'm going to ask you guys to please hit the like and subscribe button please drop a comment below hit the notification bell so you guys can see the next videos coming out you can find me on instagram and on facebook both handles are it's personal 2901 i try to upload there um, all the other things i don't get around to doing on the channel and um, the loose projects the things i do in my free time they tend to go onto those platforms as well and yeah say maybe even links for the videos that are on youtube but you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys will have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next one goodbye